Welcome student, welcome to another video tutorial from Simaji Group of Institution. Today uh, I am going to describe the next kingdom system of classification given by Whitaker. In the previous lecture I told Monera, um, Protista uh, and uh, Fungi. I think that these three are already described in the previous lecture. Now today uh, the kingdom plenty is going to describe actually uh, this is the fourth kingdom of the uh, particular system that is known as plantae. As you know, the term plantae indicate all types of uh, plants are actually comes to in this kingdom. So, what are the major characteristics of the kingdom plantae are given below. The first characteristic is cell wall. As you know, the plant cell has a special characteristic that it having a boundary along it and the boundary is known as cell wall. And this cell wall is actually made up of a uh, polysaccharide known as cellulose okay this is one of the most important points cell wall is the characteristics of plant okay in the previous lecture i told in fungus also cell wall is found it means that it is also having a, a plant characteristic but why Whitaker cannot consider the fungi into a kingdom plenty this was a, actually a question actually the answer of the question is that uh, because as you know the fungus are a heterotrophic nutrition it means that they have a saprophytic mode of nutrition they can obtain food from the uh, dead and decay animals and plants that why we can that's why the medical cannot be considered fungus into a kingdom plant this was the reason okay now uh, the plant has a characteristic that the plant has actually having the cell the cell actually covered by a cell wall this is the one of the most important characteristics of a plant and the second one characteristic is that this uh, cell wall is uh, actually made up of a polysaccharide cellulose cellulose it is a type of polysaccharide it is called cellulose and what is cellulose actually it is a type of a polysaccharide which is made up of repeated unit of glucose okay Many glucose units are repeated and they form a long chain saccharide that is known as polysaccharide and uh, this is called cellulose. Okay, so cell wall is made up of cellulose. Now, comes to the another point as you know that the plants are autotrophic, they have ability to, uh, to uh, produce their food with the help of a process called photosynthesis. So, this photosynthesis is actually done with the help of a molecule known as chlorophyll molecule and this chlorophyll molecule is also again the characteristics of a plant cell or we can say that in a plant cell chlorophyll molecule is present chlorophyll is actually a green pigment that is found in plant with the help of this chlorophyll molecule the plant has stabilized to perform their food particles it means that with the help of sunlight they have a uh, they have actually made their food with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll molecule. So these are the characteristics of a plant. Now next characteristics is photosynthesis because these are autotrophic. It means that they can make their food by the own by a process known as photosynthesis. Photosynthesis means pre uh, formation of food with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll molecule. So this is the characteristics of a plant. Now comes to the next characteristic that is growth you know that this characteristic is also found in animal but plant has also this characteristic because it is a living system so growth can also take place in the plant now what, what types of growths are taken place in plant actually there are uh, uh, the growth is known as secondary growth system primary growth system and secondary growth system is found in the plant and these growth system is as you know the growth can be divided into three part, uh, three type. But first is known as apical growth. Apical growth. Apical growth, and second one is known as lateral growth. Lateral growth, and third one is known as apical growth, lateral growth, and uh, 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 there are three types of growth is found. First is apical growth, lateral growth, or intercalary. So these types of growths are found apical, apical growth, lateral growth and intracalary growth. Apical growth is taking place at the apical part of the plant and lateral and intracalary growth take place 
uh, in the girth of the plant. So these type of uh, growth are found into the plant kingdom or a kingdom planting. Now comes to the another point, another characteristic. Absorption of minerals. As you know, minerals are actually very important for the growth of a plant. So these plants can absorb minerals with the help of a root-like structure known as rhizoid rhizoids or also by the roots okay it means that some plant absorb their minerals with the help of a root like structure not actually a real root it is called rhizoid it is actually a root like structure not a true root okay that's why we have to uh, consider these are called rhizoids and root these are the two systems with the help of which the plant can uh, absorb their minerals for the growth. Now comes to the next point, spatial respiratory system. This is actually one of the most important point for all of you. Uh, actually, what as you know, the respiratory system is found in animal. Are you know what type of a spatial respiratory system found in plant? How plants are excretes their waste material? This is actually one of the important point. These plants are actually excrete their uh, waste substances with the help of a plant bark okay as you know bark is what bark is actually in Hindi it is called chal with the help of this bark or we can say in Hindi chal they excrete their excrete their waste product okay with the help of bark and also with the help of a process known as senescence This process is also take place. What is senescence? Senescence is actually the fall down of a leaf. Fall down of a leaf of a plant is known as senescence. So, with the help of these two process, the plants are actually excrete their waste product from outside the body. Okay. So, these are the special respiratory system which is found in plant. Now comes to the next point: movement. As you know, movement is also take place by plant. For example, root is always positively geotropic. It means that they are all uh, always grow towards the gravity. And stem is always negatively geotropic. It means that it may, it can be grow opposite to the gravity. So these are actually the movement that is found in plant system. Now comes to the next point: vacuoles. As you know. In plant, there is large vacuoles is found. Vacuole is actually a, a, a space, or we can say it is a type of a vessels which is covered by a tonoplast. And inside the vacuoles, watery fluid substances are found. So these vacuoles are major characteristic of a plant. And vacuoles are also found in animal, but not more. Many small vacuoles are found in plant, but in animal, but in but in, in animal there is a small vacuole is found, in plant there is a large number of vacuoles is found, okay. So these are the characteristics of the plant. Now comes to the classification of the uh, kingdom planty. This kingdom planty is actually divided into two parts. The first is known as Thalophyta and second one is known as Embryophyta. As the term indicates, Thalophyta, it means that Thalo means, Thalo is actually a type of a uh, plant part or we can say it is a type of nature of a plant that it is thalloid and phyta means plant it means that a plant which having thalloid structure okay which has which having thalloid structure is known as thalloid and in the previous lecture I told what is thalloid thalloids are those type of a plant uh, which does not having root stems and leaves it means that they does not having are uh, true roots, true stem and true leaves. Such type of a plants are actually called thalophyte. For example, all the algas are comes into the uh, alga and fungi. Fungi whenever considered as a plant also by some scientists. This is also very important but okay. But Whitaker had created a different system in uh, in his group that is known as fungi. But many scientists also included in thalophyta. Bacteria, fungi and alga, these are actually considered as thalophyta. No doubt this is very important point. Bacteria, fungi and algas are actually thalophyta because their body is, does not differentiate into root stems and leaf like structure. So we can say these are thalophyte like structure or these are thallus body type structure. So uh, 
the plant kingdom uh, thallophyta and here embryophyta as you know the term embryo indicate that in the this type of a plant there is actually a true embryo is found in thallophyta no embryo is found but in uh, embryophyta as the term indicate embryophyta it means that this these type of a plants are actually forms their embryo okay in thallophyta there is no development of embryo take place what happened uh, here what happened spore like structures are formed and these spores are uh, after that these spores dispersal take place and these spores germinate a new plant but in embryophyta there is a proper embryo system is found and this embryo actually make the new plant now this embryophyta is actually divided into two parts that is known as a trichophyta and trichophyta as the term indicate a trichophyta a means no a means no and trichophyta means trachea it means that such type of a plant which does not have in trachea trachea is what which does not have actually the vascular bundle vascular bundle this plant does not have the vascular bundle so these are known as a trachophyta and trachophyta are actually as a type of a plant which actually having the vascular bundle and you know what is a vascular bundle vascular bundles are xylem phloem and cambium xylem phloem and cambium is known as vascular bundle okay these are very important points so remember this trachophyta is uh, example of a a trachophyta is bryophyta ओके देखिए यहाँ पर एक चीज बताना चाहूंगा आपको जो लोअर प्लांट्स थे हमारे फंजाई बैक्टीरिया हो गए फंजाई हो गया एल्गा हो गया उसके बाद फिर हायर प्लांट डेवलप हुए जिसमें एम्ब्रियो बना सबसे पहला प्लांट वो कौन सा था जिसमें एम्ब्रियो बना उसको ब्राफाइटा कहते हैं और ब्राफाइटा ए ट्रेक्योफाइटा में आता है इसमें बेस्ट्रो बंडल्स नहीं पाए जाते तो ये किसके द्वारा वॉटर को एब्जॉर्व करते हैं राइजॉइड्स के द्वारा वॉटर को एब्जॉर्व करते हैं ओके अब नाउ कम्स टू दी ट्रैक्योफाइटा ट्रैक्योफाइटा इज डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री पार्ट टेरिडोफाइटा जिम्नोस्पर्म एंड एंजियोस्पर्म टेरिडोफाइटा इज मोर एडवांस प्लांट देन ब्रायोफाइटा इन टेरिडोफाइटा देयर इज वेस्कुलर बंडल्स आर एक्चुअली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डेवलप्ड इन दिस टाइप ऑफ अ प्लांट ओके दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट फर्स्ट वी कैन से फर्स्ट वेस्कुलर बंडल्स आर डेवलप्ड इन व्हिच टाइप ऑफ अ प्लांट दिस आर टेरिडोफाइटा इन व्हिच द फर्स्ट वेस्कुलर बंडल्स वाज अपीयर ओके this trichophyta is after evolution gives the gymnosperm and after this gymnosperm of evolution gives the higher plant that is known as angiosperm that we can see in our ground this type of a plants are called angiosperm as you know the angiosperm is divided into two sub class that is known as monopod and dipod example of monopod is bees bees in hindi is called makka and dipod is known as pea okay so these are the important characteristics of the kingdom plantae the student revise again first of all the plant kingdom is divided into thallophyta and embryophyta and thallophyta which type of examples are found bacteria fungi and algae are thallophyta and others are considered as embryophyta because in, in their embryo is formed and these are classified into two part heterophyta and trichophyta in heterophyta bryophyta are only comes because Uh, this is actually the first land plant okay bryophyta is actually the first land plant and this thallophyta is actually developed into the water it means that evolution take place from water to land so first land plant is bryophyta uh, it is under the a trichophyta because no vascular bundle is found in trichophyta vascular bundles are firstly developed in pteridophyta after that gymnosperm and angiosperm are called higher plant so these are the classification regarding to the kingdom plantae this is all over student today and the next video lecture we will discuss about the kingdom animalia thank you